So hey everybody, this is Tim. Got a little Mr. Shaggy playing in the background. And the reason for that is, uh, I'll let you know in a minute when I uh, talk about the first wine. But first, this is a series in uh, what I consider to be quick and dirty wine reviews. If you don't have the time to read through long magazine articles about specific wines, I'm going to go through the ones that we taste give you the ups and downs real fast, then we can move on to the next one. So I want to start with one from a part of Spain that we've never tried one before. This is called a Monastrel wine. Uh, it's from the southern region of Spain near the, uh, the Riviera. This one's called Finca Elinche. It's a red blend. So um, the reason I'm playing Shaggy in the background, the song, Boombastic is once you uh, have a chance to take a whiff of this wine, the aroma is amazingly bum boom boombastic. And there's a ton of flavor, a ton of uh, berry smell in this from root, uh, raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, strawberries you name a berry, I think you can find it in this aroma. So you're waiting for something to punch you in the mouth when you take a drink of this. Unfortunately, when we first opened the wine, it was very acetic. It took about an hour for it to calm down. Um, and even then, it didn't present the amount of flavor that I expected after the aroma. So the initial taste, like I said, covered with some acid. And after, after about an hour, it, it kind of calmed down. And it gave us an idea what this variety can offer. It's kind of young. The year on this uh, uh, Monastrel is 2015. And um, I'm not sure I would buy it again. The, the price that you'll find on a number of web pages, uh, websites, the Vino Seller Tracker will say this can be had for as low as $8 and typically in the $10 to $12 range. We paid $14 for it. It came as part of a package of wine from um, Shamelessly. Um, promoting weeklytasting.com. Um, it was part of a package of four wines from different areas of Spain where you know you, you can take some samples and get an idea what uh, some of the varieties and interiors are within that country without you know having to spend a whole lot of money and um, being able to you know take a taste and see if some, something you like. Again, uh, at the price point, I don't think I'd buy it again. I'd rather spend twice as much money mm -hmm. to get something that I'm sure of and that I know will, uh, you know, give me that nice punch in the mouth that I'm looking for. So, um, not bad. I'll finish the bottle. We'll have some fun. Um, cheers. If you ever get a chance to try some Monastrel, um, it's not quite the punch that something from um, Northern Italy will give you, but it, it will be a little bit more. Um, flavorful than some of the, the French wines that are from the same region. So, cheers again.